Welcome to Bible Tract Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracts Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracts, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracts Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracts and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world, and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracts will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. How do you do, my friend? Welcome to the Wednesday edition here at Bible Tract Echoes. Thanks so very much for joining us today. Right now, my Bible is open to the book of Daniel chapter 9. Please, if at all possible, would you open your own copy of the Word of God and join me there, Daniel, please, chapter 9. This is very, very key. And also get something on which you can jot some notes, some numbers. This is important today. Please help us. We're in the middle of a series on prophecy, and uh, this is important that we get some things straight and jotting down some information, I think, will be really key to helping you get some things fixed into your mind as to what the Bible teaches. Now, Bible Tract Echoes, this radio program, as my announcer has already said, is the radio arm of a larger ministry called Bible Tracts, and I really want to put gospel tracts in your hand. That word tracts is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. It's an evangelism tool. It's a short written presentation of the gospel of how to be saved from your sin as declared in the Word of God. I want to give you some of these free of charge, and I hope you'll begin to use them, giving them out to friends and family, workmates that know not Christ, that they might receive the gospel. I'll say more about that in a minute, but let me lead into our Bible study time this way. Does your local church teach on prophecy? And if they do, do they do it in generalities or do they give some specifics? Now, by generalities, I mean this. They may talk about the fact that Jesus is going to come again and that when he comes, there's going to be a great battle called the Battle of Armageddon and Jesus will set up his kingdom and then finally God will judge sinners and send them into hell and God will bless the righteous and take them into heaven. Now, all that I've just said is absolutely true, but it leaves out so much of the prophetic details that God's given us in the Word of God. Oh, now, to be sure, not every detail that we find there is as clear as we would like it, and so there is room for godly people to disagree on some of the details. That's known to everybody. Today, though, I want to deal with one of those details, and I want to answer this question. How long is this period called the tribulation period. On Monday's broadcast, I gave four purposes for the period of this horrible trouble called the tribulation. Now let's deal with the length of it. So get your Bible, open the Daniel 9, and get that pen and paper ready, please. Before I read out of Daniel 9, let me talk about a particular one of our gospel tracts. The one in my hand right now is entitled, Will You Live Forever?, Will you live forever? And the answer is yes, you will. But where? Will you live forever in heaven or in hell? This gospel track talks about these key facts. Number one, that yes, people, all people will live forever. The dead, all the dead will rise again. All the dead will be judged They're going to be judged by the person of Jesus Christ, but there's a way out of the judgment that sends people to hell. This track lays out the fact that Jesus died on the cross, shed his precious blood, that we through him can be saved, can be rescued from the judgment of hell. Friend, you need Christ as Savior. Your friends and family need Christ as Savior. We want to give you these gospel tracks. Now, listen to me. You got that piece of paper handy? At the end of the program, my announcer will give you three ways by which you can contact us, giving us your name and your mailing address. If you'll do that, we'll send you a free sample packet containing one each of all of our English gospel tracts, including this one, Will You Live Forever? If you can't stay to the end, just go to our website. Our web address is this, BibleTracksInc.org. 
org. Bible, you know how to spell the word tracks is T-R-A-C-T-S. The word ink is I-N-C, BibleTracksInc.org. Please, let you and I become partners in doing the work of the gospel. With your Bible open to Daniel 9, verses 24 and 25 says this, Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. The most holy there is reference to Christ. Verse 25, know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the Prince, shall be seven weeks and threescore and two weeks. The street shall be built again and the wall even in troublesome times. And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off. Stop the reading right there. Now, I remember I said that not all godly Bible believers agree on all the details of prophecy. Well, this happens to be one of those areas. Uh, Frankly, I think the details of the length of the tribulation period are really quite clear and easy to see, but others obviously don't agree. Now, these verses here in Daniel 9 are the absolute key verses to understanding how long the tribulation is going to last. Here's what Daniel is told by the angel Gabriel, who's identified up there in verse 21. He says this, and again, looking at verse 24, he gives a definite time, a definite time. It's called 70 weeks in our Bible. 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and the holy city. The word weeks there is the Hebrew word not for weeks that you and I use the term, but for the word number seven. These are 70 groups of seven. We're just not told what these sevens refer to here yet. But these 70 periods are 70 periods of sevens, and they are determined on the Jewish people. We are also told that these 70 sevens focus, as we said, on the Jewish people and their city, the city of Jerusalem. But in verse 25, here is where we are told when these 77s, this group of 77s, begin. They begin with a decree given to rebuild Jerusalem. When that happened, we absolutely know for sure. The Babylonian king gave a command to the Jews to go and rebuild Jerusalem. That happened in the year 445 B.C. Jot that down, 445 B.C. Actually, it happened on March 14th of 445 B.C. Then, in verse 25 again, we are told how many of these 70 groups of weeks are going to go by until the coming of Messiah. Let me just ask, who is the Messiah? Well, obviously, it's Jesus Christ. A second question, when did he come? Jesus came as Messiah in a very unique and particular event. That event is what you and I call his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And we know exactly when that happened. It happened, jot it down, April the 6th of the year 32 AD. So between the decree of the year 445 BC and Messiah's coming in the year 32 AD is a total of 69 of these weeks or these groups of seven. Okay, do a math problem here. You got your piece of paper? Here's the multiplication problem. The numbers are 69, that's the number of weeks, times seven. Multiply 69 times 7, and the answer you're going to get is 483. That means 483 of these prophetic periods are going to go on and happen between the decree and the coming of Messiah. If you look at our calendar, the number of years between the decree and Messiah on our calendar is 476 years. That's a problem unless you remember this. 
the prophecy here to Daniel is to a Jews. It's a Jewish prophecy. There, the calendar, the Jewish calendar, does not have 365 days in it. It only has 360 days in it. And guess what? The number of Jewish years between the rebuilding decree and Messiah's coming is exactly 483 years. Exactly. And by exactly, I mean to the exact number of days. Now, I really wish I could sit down with you and do the math here right in front of you on a piece of paper, but obviously radio doesn't allow for that. Okay, Brother Mark, you may be asking, why in the world are you spending so much time on this? Here's my answer. If we can know, and we do, that this group of 69 weeks are actual groups of years, and that each week talks about here is Daniel 9 is a period of seven years, then the last week, that 70th week of Daniel, must then also be a period of seven years. Daniel chapter 9 and verses 26 and 27 describe events that's going to happen during the tribulation period. We're going to see all these events again when we get to the book of the Revelation. So this last week, the 70th week, is the tribulation period, and it's going to last, guess what, seven years. Tomorrow, we're going to look at those two verses here, 26 and 27, to help us identify some of the key events that are going to transpire in the tribulation period. But right now, let me explain to you why, why I have taken the time to cover this, well, rather heavy topic here on the radio It's one of those details of prophecy given us by God that we need to know. I've taken the time to explain the 70 weeks period for these two reasons. Number one, I want you to trust your Bible. I want you to trust the Bible. The accuracy of Daniel's prophecy is beyond reproach. I'm going to say that again. The accuracy of Daniel's prophecy is beyond reproach. Since God prophesied these 69 weeks and they happened just as he said, then we can trust the fulfillment of the last week. We can trust all the prophecies of God. Our Bible is God's word. We can live our daily lives by it, but more importantly, we can prepare for for our eternal future by the Bible. It's true. But number two, I want you to know and know for certain that a horrible time of judgment and trouble is coming on our planet, and it's not caused by global warming or global cooling. It's caused by God Almighty because of the wickedness of mankind. This awful time will come without warning for you, dear friend, if you're lost If you don't know Christ as Savior, you will experience this horrible time. Plus, not only that, you'll experience the punishment of all eternity and the lake of fire away from God with no hope of escape. The accuracy of God's prophecy is here to move you to believe the accuracy of the gospel message. And Jesus said, I am the only way, the only truth, and the only life, and nobody comes to the Father but by me. When he said that, he was giving you the clear, simple, trustworthy statement of how to be saved from your sin. You're saved not by your religion and your religiosity. You're saved by a person, the person of Jesus who died and shed his precious blood that you might have your price paid, your sin price paid, that you can be forgiven by God. If you've not received him today, do so now. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Tract Echoes. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is Bible Tracks. P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.